Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, I am here to tell you something amazing. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Granbull just went 9 and 0 oh in the early rounds of a 1,200-person Japanese tournament. Now, it didn't end up winning the whole thing, second phase of the tournament and all of that. Fine, I get it, it makes me sad, but I understand. But in the first phase, it went 9 and 0. Oh. How is that not amazing? In my Granbull video, I said, and to be fair, I say this about a lot of cards, but I do believe it. I said that sooner or later, somebody would find a way to make Granbull broken and actually use it, and it would be a great deck. I just honestly didn't expect it to be like two weeks after the card came out. And if someone can do that two weeks after the card comes out, maybe it's a legitimately good deck. Now, I should mention I got this information from Dedene Shun over on Twitter. Not a Twitter account I've used before, though one I'm now following. And I did have to use Google Translate. But 9-0 undefeated Grand Bull deck. It, it's so cool! Now, to give you a reminder, because many of you were probably not high on Grand Bull, and many of you probably didn't think Grand Bull was going to be a particularly great card, and I don't really blame you for this. N not many people did. I mean, I thought it looked cool, and I thought it had potential. I didn't see it as a 9 and 0 two weeks after it comes out kind of card. Now, you can do 410 for free energy, but nobody really cares. One fairy energy, 30 damage, but if you've got no cards in hand, it does 160 damage, which is amazing. Now... Two questions that we had initially when I talked about this card were how do we get zero cards in hand? And how do we make sure that when we have zero cards in hand, we don't end up losing? Now, in terms of the what do we do once we've got zero cards in hand, we've got, well, we've got options here, quite frankly. We've got Macargo, which lets you put any card from your deck on top of your deck, and then Orangaroo. And bearing in mind, right, if you've got zero cards in hand, even if you knock out a GX, you take two prizes. Beginning of your next turn, you draw one card and you've got three cards in hand. If you can play a single card from your hand, then you can search any card out with Macargo, put it to the top and guarantee that you can then draw it using Orangaroo. And then, of course, you can just make sure that the cards you search is the card you need to make sure you got zero cards in hand. Which is amazing. It's a really good way of doing it. And honestly, Pokemon line here, you got 4-4 four, four Gramble, you got 2-2 two, two Macargo, 3 Orangaroo, because you're going to end up in awkward situations here, where you're going to have three cards in hand, be able to play one, but only one. So you're then going to Orangaroo for one card, and hope you draw something like an Ultra Ball, to empty out your hand. But if you can't, you're going to use a second Orangaroo for one, and so on and so forth. This is a very awkward deck to play in terms of sequencing to make sure you got zero cards in hand, but between Macargo searching out any card you want, and Orangaroo letting you draw that, and maybe some others, you should be able to manipulate a situation where you have zero cards in hand. The combination of Macargo and Orangaroo seems perfect here. Have zero cards in hand, end up with three in hand, but one of them has been searched out with Macargo to be the perfect card. Seems good to me, ladies and gentlemen. And the only other Pokemon in the deck is Ditto Prism Star. Well, Ditto Prism Star can evolve into any Stage 1. And I told you that in mono Stage 1 decks, where you're really just playing a single Stage 1, you need to be playing Ditto to give yourself another option. A fifth basic. And that's what we have here. Now, to be fair, you could evolve it into Macargo, and that would not be a bad thing. But most of the time here, you're just going to be using it to evolve into Gramble. And you know what? This seems utterly, 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 utterly brilliant. 
I adore this deck, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Pokemon line is basically perfect. And it's wonderful. But as we're going to see with a deck like this, it's an unusual deck that tries to do unusual things. That being that you are trying to empty out your hand every turn. So we do have some unusual trainer cards here. So let's run through a few of them. We actually see Lost Mixer here. Now, in Lost Mixer, when I did a video about this, and any of these cards that are new that aren't out yet, I will put links to videos in the description so you can learn more about them. Gramble, Lost Mixer, Ditto, etc. I'll pop links to all of them in the description. And Lost Mixer puts two cards from your hand into the Lost Zone, and then you draw one card. And I said as draw power it sucked, but it was good in some decks, and I gave examples in the video, where you want to Lost Zone cards. Now what this actually does in this deck is just empty out your hand. You don't really want to Lost Zone cards, but what you do want to do is have zero cards in hand. So Lost Mixer puts two cards in the Lost Zone, and then you draw a card. But hopefully, it lowers your hand size enough that you can then draw one card, hopefully play it, and then you've got zero cards in hand. Great for that. We see Apricorn Maker. Apricorn Maker is not a great card. It has not seen a lot of play. And I believe it was Andrew Mahone over on the Charizard Lounge this week did an article where he was basically talking about how bad the card is and how people are trying to use it and finding out it's bad. And most of the time it is. Search your deck for up to two item cards that have the word ball in their name, reveal them and put them into your hand. But actually here, this is great. Because let's say you've got three cards in hand and one of them's an apricorn maker and the other two you can't play. Use an Apricorn Maker, search for an Ultra Ball, and then you're off and rolling. You can use that to discard the other two cards. But we also see a very aggressive ball line here to get set up. Remember, I told you all the Pokemon this deck plays. I didn't tell you Tapu Lele. This deck doesn't play Tapu Lele. It just doesn't play Tapu Lele. So what do you do here? You've got to get set up and you use balls. We've got Ultra Ball. You've got Nest Ball that searches out a basic Pokemon, puts it straight onto your bench. And then we see Great Ball. Another card that hasn't seen a lot of play. And one of the things, right, this is the third deck I've looked at from Japan in the last couple of days. And the one thing to learn from this, look at unusual cards. Because all of these decks have been filled with cards we weren't expecting to see. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Firstly, this helps you search out Pokemon. Secondly, if it would be a stage one, you don't need to grab it if you couldn't play it. It's a card you can burn. This deck needs burnable cards. You need to be able to go, there's three cards in my hand. I need to burn them all so I can actually then play. That's what this deck does, ladies and gentlemen. And it's beautiful. Such a well, well put together deck. So looking at some of the other cards here, what do we see? We see energy recycle system because you're only playing seven energy here. You do need to be able to get them back here. So energy recycle system is quite nice from that respect. We see muscle dumbbells, which, or bodybuilding dumbbells it's actually called, it's called muscle dumbbells in Japan, which lets you have an extra 40 HP on your Gramble, which is really quite cool. We see Shrine of Punishment, I mean it's a non-GX deck, right? Non-GX decks nowadays play Shrine of Punishment. Puts one damage counter on each Pokemon EX and GX between turns. This is a 100% completely non-GX deck. So why would you not play it? We do see a single copy of Mysterious Treasure. It's just more Pokemon search. And again, remember, any of these cards can be put to the top of your deck with Makago. So if you've got two cards from your hand you want to get rid of, you can search out an Ultra Ball or a Lost Mixer. But if you've got one card in your hand you want to get rid of, that's where Mysterious Treasure comes in. When you're looking at this deck and playing this deck, you need to be thinking not just in terms of being able to set up, but you've got to be thinking, how could I use this to burn cards in my hand? That's very, very important. And then we see a Diantha here. 
Again, a card that we just don't see seeing very much play at all. But a card which is really, really good in this particular deck. It says that if you had a Pokemon KO'd, a fairy Pokemon, during your opponent's last turn, and it doesn't have to be from damage, it could be from anything, although remember Shrine of Punishment would KO it between turns, but then you don't play any GXs, so you're fine, just a ruling query. Put any two cards from your discard pile into your hand, like a double puzzle of time. This is Radonk, because remember... It's not just about recovering Granbull. It's not just about recovering energy. Honestly, most of the time, you should have a stage one Granbull. You should have a single energy. That shouldn't often be the problem with this deck. Yeah, sure, sometimes you'll want to get a choice band back to do a bit of extra damage, etc. But most turns in this deck... Your job is going to be emptying your hand and playing a Diantha here. And remember, you can search it out whenever you want it with Macargo. Let's you grab two cards back from the discard that will allow you to empty out your hand. And then, of course, we don't see a single copy of Copycat here like we see in most of the decks. But actually, that's not relevant here. There's one draw supporter. There's one copy of Tate and Liza. There is a single copy of Tate and Liza. And you can count Diantha here, but that gets from the discard. That's it. That's all the draw supporters we've got. There's four Apricorn Maker and one Tate and Liza. Why? Because you've got Macargo, you've got Orangaroo, and you've got 12 ball cards here. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how this deck runs. And you might be thinking, Wossy, well, what about Garboda? Well, like I told you in the video I did about Gramble, link, of course, in the description, who cares? They're a stage one KOing you for one energy. You're a stage one KOing them for one energy. Except they have to wait for you to play a bunch of item cards. You can just be doing this straight away. So you should be trading one for one. Except you are built to have Gramble every turn. They are not. They have Garboda generally as one of several attackers. They probably can't stream Garboda like you can stream Granbull. And secondly, you should be taking the first KO here. Because you can just not play items until you're ready to get the KO. So you know what? Garboda doesn't worry me. I adore this deck. Sure, there's going to be games you have janky hands. And that probably is why it didn't go any further. But any deck that can go 9-0 in the first stage of a 1,200-person tournament has got to be taken seriously. This isn't just some joke deck, meme deck, budget deck, or whatever. This is a legit deck. But I want to hear from you guys now. Tell me if you think it's legit. Tell me if you think it'll work. Or tell me if you think it was a lucky accident. Go nuts in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. But do please remember the rule. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.